Hello, how are you doing today? This is just a quick uh, video regarding one email I received and I am surprised that up to now there are still some airlines that are getting confused. Let's take a look at this email sent to me by one of my viewers. This comment was not put on my vlog. This is a comment emailed to me by another person based on what is seen on somebody else's website. So he says, My wife ran across this today. Delta does not know of the Balik Bayan, Republic Act 9174. So let's look at the email from Vicky Yaya Aison. Mga sis, gusto ko po sana magpatulong hindi po ito relate sa couponing. Must be, that website must have something to do with couponing. Flight namin noong Huwebes, hindi kami pinasakay ng Delta kasi hinahanapan kami ng visa papasok sa Pilipinas. Kasi daw, more than 30 days kami at US citizen, pero kami, pero ang dala naming mga birth certificate at marriage contract dahil kasama naming mga anak namin, pero ayaw ng Delta i-honor ang birth certificate. Gusto visa, I'll translate this in English, okay? Because visa, hanggang na-cancel na ang flight namin, hindi kami nakaalis. Basically, she's saying that Delta refused to let them board because they don't know about this Balik Bayan rule. And because they're a U.S. citizen with no visa, they're only allowed 30 days. But as a Balik Bayan, by showing birth certificate, they should be allowed up to one year. So it should not be a problem, but apparently they perceive it as a problem. Let's continue on. Ano magandang gagawin namin mga sis? Pa-help naman, salamat po. So basically, this person went to the airport with their birth certificate, supposed to board a flight. And they were refused. Why? They had a U.S. visa, I mean a U.S. passport. They're an American citizen, that is. And they're only allowed 30 days. But they qualify for Balik Bayan rule because they showed birth certificate that they were former Filipino citizen. And they should have qualified, but apparently Delta Airlines did not know. What do I think happened? I don't think it's the fault of the Philippines because Philippines has been posting this even before the pandemic. Balik Bayan existed even before the pandemic. So I'm pretty sure Philippines has that on the IATA website or the computers being used by airlines. I think the problem is on Delta. Now the problem is this. When you are boarding a plane that is usually a domestic airline like Delta, American, something like that, I know they have international flights going to the Philippines, but maybe this person is taking a flight, let's say, from New York to Chicago or Chicago to... It's basically a domestic flight. They may not be familiar with the rules. And therefore, they did not know about this Balik Bayan. Maybe when they get to the connecting flight somewhere that goes straight to Manila or en route to Manila, they, will, they would have known the rules. So I think this is a human error. I don't even think this is Delta's fault. And the problem with some flight attendants or flight agents, I should say, is they know it all. They say this is the rule. They do not give themselves some, some of them. They do not give themselves the benefit of the doubt. So even if you brought with you a piece of paper that says, or explains this Balik Bayan rule, they may say, I'm sorry, you know, that is not relevant. What is relevant is what is on the computer. But they could be misleading the computer. And the reason I say that is I don't think this is Philippines' fault because if it is the fault of the Philippines, guess what? All airlines are going to be confused. They will not know what to do. There will be all kinds of problems. But this appears to be an isolated problem. Maybe there's a little bit more than just one. But that is fairly common so you have to know how to insist and fight for what you believe is right 
have the pieces of paper, the evidence, because this is confusing times. So have something in a computer printout form explaining what this Balik Bayan rule is all about and show it to them. And sort of, not for them to believe that, but sort of force them to double check what they're looking at in the computer. That's all I can suggest, but this thing is, it's a shame, you know, can you imagine spending all the money and the hotel, if they're staying in a hotel, and the inconvenience, the inconvenience of being stuck in a situation like this. I believe it is the fault of a Delta personnel, not necessarily Delta, but Delta personnel. Because when you're taking a domestic flight, you may be the only one flying to Manila. This would have not happened if you're boarding a flight that is all uh, the, with the destination of Manila, all passengers or majority of the passengers are probably going to Manila and they will have a problem if they say, gee, 50% of the passengers cannot be admitted. What is this Balik Bayan? But if you're the only one, domestic flight, with a connection that flies to Manila, they may not know. They may not know. So in this troubled times, I would suggest getting one ticket that goes straight from your departure point all the way up to Manila. The same itinerary, the same ticket. This is also a problem if, for example, if you're required to have a COVID testing and, and there's a layover point, if it is not a straight through flight, your next connection, or one of your several connections, may require COVID testing. So, I would suggest getting a flight, the same airline, the same itinerary going to Manila, bring with you all documents that you have, proof of the fact that you are qualified to go. Do not assume that the airline knows. The problem with the approach of calling the airline is that again you're talking to a person who could be wrong or one person says oh yeah you're okay then when you get to the airport oh it's not okay so it's best for you to have hard copy form do not rely on your cell phone saying oh it's this is that hard copy form it's still not a guarantee so you may still have to fight for your right so that's a shame but to the person who sent this to me, thank you so much for sharing this information. And I hope people will find this informative on their trip to the Philippines. Thank you so much for watching. I'll appreciate it if you click like. And if you do, subscribe to my channel. Make it a great day and God bless.